my treasures, it's time to go infinite once again with a DK. This time it's going to be Mech Blood DK using Unkiliax as our new infinite win condition. Essentially, you can combo this with Death Growl and Adaptive Amalgam to get infinite copies of your Unkiliax. Or if you really want to get a bit spicy, you can use one Amalgam Ban instead. And it is worth mentioning, if you really want to, you can easily cut one of the Yelling Yodelers for one Amalgam Ban or another Thread of Despair just for additional room. Now, for the Willing Guide of the deck, you are going to be looking for any early game removal tools such as Malted Magma, draw power cards such as chill fallen baron any early game minions or cards that generate early game minions such as mining casualties now with all being said let's look at some games okay time for a game against rogue let's see what they have in store for us this opener looks really really awful let's get rid of everything here okay that <laughs> that completely turns it around okay there's the only nodaler there's drone deconstructor. Oh, Windberry, let's go. All right, just slam down one of the mining casualties. I'm curious of what rogue deck this is. I know there's a few floating around. The Sonia rogue deck weirdly sat. Oh, it's wishing well. I was going to say, sounds exactly like something that would be straight up my alley. And it actually is. I just know the more, I don't know. The last video I uploaded, which was the Arana OTK list, didn't do as well as I had hoped. But I also just really wanted to showcase that. And I know we're like going in between people actually being super interested in more relevant decks or not being. We're in like a downtime period for Hearthstone. But, you know, I will say this. I am thankful for the viewership that I do get on each individual video. And it, it definitely has been up since Perils has come out, which is good for me. Just generally speaking. I know that that's a little bit of a side tangent while we're playing a game of Hearthstone, but I, I am very, very grateful. This set has been absolutely insane. There's so many fun, wacky combos that we can come up with, and I still have like a laundry list of things that I really still want to do. And that have been pointed out to me by like fans and like other people that I, I just haven't got to. And we will get to them eventually, but I don't know when. But I will say Amalgam is so nice. Amalgam is like one of the best cards ever when it comes to like build around cards. It It's interesting to me to say that about a epic card compared to a legendary because Thaddeus was like my build around last year. And honestly, I probably should just make a playlist of like the individual amalgam list because i usually do make new playlists whenever there's a some type of build around card we also should like revisit portrait in inspired because that was something that i accidentally did a bunch and then you know it's worked out anyways uh wishing well on turn six uh we do have the explosion in hand which is nice it doesn't matter what they slam down it's just going to be really good and the fact that we have buttons, they, they probably knew we were... At this point, like, there's no reasons for them to know we're double blood. But, you know, you never know. They might be smart enough to be like, oh, hey. Okay, Shadow Step. That, that's actually the correct play there. Keeping it in hand just for later on. Slamming down a bunch of minions. Okay, there's Hedis. Good thing they don't have a way to heal. All right. If... We can see a Malg. Uh, I'm just going to trade. I don't want to slam down Zilliax until I know what they they randomly generated, right? Because I, I don't want to accidentally destroy Zilliax and then be like, oh, we can't do anything. And I think we what we need two more mana. I, I might I, I might slam down Zilliax next turn just to slam it down. We could also explosion the board. Oh, oh, well, let's slam down the Primus. This gets rid of the 07. Like, I get it. We're leaving up a 4, 6 and a bunch of other things, but I think this is just the safe bet, to be honest. Okay, Gorgon Zormu. I still have yet to make a Gorgon Zormu deck. Like, I know he's been featured in decks that I've uploaded, but I just haven't directly made one. And... Cheese Druid was supposed to be the, the Druid list, but 
Uh, someone pointed out that Druid can now ramp up way above what they used to be able to, and we can uh, use Lena in combination with Drum Circle really easily now, which was a deck idea that I, I tried to make work before, and it just sadly, sadly did not, because there wasn't enough mana for that combo to work consistently, at least. Unless you, like, by some miracle, were able to do it. But most of the time, you just weren't able to do it, which is why I ended up scrapping it for a good chunk of the year. But I haven't done anything with Lena in a while. And the last one I did was a DK list. And now that we have Druid having access to that card easily again, and maybe we could do something with that. Warrior, in theory, could be real fun. I really wish the new lab patron copied its stats whenever it was copied, but I get why it doesn't. There's just so much armor gain in Warrior, and that would be ridiculous, but probably still be fine. Yeah, there, there has to be something. Warrior, in theory, there should be something there too, right? I think. Oh yeah, because you could just use Sleep Under the Stars. Sorry, I got a little bit... Uh, this is just the game of not being distracted but actually being distracted uh doo -doo 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 -doo. oh um i should have used yeah yeah i forgot how much space we had in hand oh that's bad well i mean it isn't that bad but it does kind of suck and then we can just nope hey i was going to i was going to say yoink and then, I don't know, it's sometimes my brain is like, yeah, say this. And then it's like, oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> oh, OK, OK, OK. I'm just going to slam this down. I, I don't want to burn a card. To be fair, if we draw into the, the head, we can get additional amalgams and we won't need to. We're trying to preserve the mana discount on the Unkiliax so we can actually do the combo. Okay. How? Okay. Wait, well, yes, yes, yes. Bounce that back. I. Oh, yeah. Food fight exists in Warrior. Hmm. Hmm. Hey! Now, the question is do we go combo? I think we'd be fine if we go combo. We have a high enough HP pool. Yeah, why not? Why, why not? Also, we played this out of order. We, we, if we had played Zilliax first, we would still have two mana and we could, I don't know, hero power, the two, three. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I still haven't done anything with Rye Cleaver either. Hmm. Sorry, again, distractions. <laughs> yes, yes. Get rid of it. Put it back in our deck. <laughs> uh, they gotta realize at this point, like, we're just gonna loop them, right? Please, flood the board as much as possible. Okay, so we need to do two damage to Raw Den, basically. Two mana there. We can use Molten Maker twice. This will... S Actually, no, we can't. We have to do... Crop rotation first. Get the almond tool. Then threads. Hopefully. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that Faye is going to be alive. But you never know. Am I going to be wrong? Nope. I was right. Uh, there was no way that was going to work, was there? I, we're at such a high HP pool that I don't really care too much. Another explosion in hand would be really nice just for the test. I'm amazed they didn't slam down test, to be fair. All right, let's pop that. Draw a card. Acolyte is funny. <laughs> I don't know if it does anything. Hey. Hey, Zilliax, buddy. You're back. Part of me... Okay. Part of me is like, maybe we don't forge or magnetize this. But like... Ah, screw it. Might as well. We'll just hope our opponent doesn't have Yogg. <laughs> I'm actually trying to think. Recently, is there any deck that I've uploaded that doesn't actually have Yogg? I, I think I've 
literally jam that shit in everything just because I'm paranoid about Ankyliax. Oh, I... <laughs> Looking through the list of stuff I've uploaded, I... There might be one deck that does it. Okay, they'll pop that. I, I would definitely not attack into that if I was them. We're at 14. Well, I mean, Yogg's just fun. <laughs> oh, Yogg will be really fun. Because I'm not going to make their minions attack. We get two Ankyliaxes from this. Or should, at least. Just going to buff this up a little bit more. Get rid of that. And get rid of Tess. I, I don't want them to get any type of more advantage off of that. So we're just going to do that. And then we're going to get rid of the mana cheat. Just because we can. And then oh, it should be GG from here. I'm amazed that they haven't actually given up. To be fair. Okay, there's preparation. Also, the signature rares of preparation and shadow step are so nice. I just don't want to pay 50 bucks for them. That early game, though, that was actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, I, I'm amazed. This, this game went really well. I actually just got to showcase what I really wanted to showcase really quickly. I can't. I honestly can't complain about that. Wait, that's how that works? <laughs> Neat. All right, time for a game against Priest. So let's see what they have in store for us today. Now, this actually probably will be a decent matchup for us, though they do have Almond Thule as a way to remove Ankyliax from the board, making this combo maybe a little bit worse. Um, I can't remember if... I, I'm pretty sure I have... Do I have Fizzle in this deck? This might be one of the rare cases where I, I just didn't put Fizzle in it. And if I didn't... Oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is, but, you know... The Drone Deconstructor actually is one of the better targets for Death Growl into Amalgam 2. Because in theory, you could just get every single keyboard that you would humanly want with that combo. We're going to put the Poisonous on the Amalgam just, just to be safe. Oh yeah, this is one of the few decks that we did not use Fizzle. There is an argument for that just so you can prevent your opponent from completely destroying your combo in case they have like Almanthil or Reno or something like that. Okay. I, I mean, that's not going to do much, but sure. I, well, it does give you an R1 in your hand so you can actually use it for draw power, I guess. Just going to slam down Baron, draw a card. Acolyte's nice, especially because our hand right now has the perfect setup on turn three for it. Okay, so it's Zorami. Zorami, well, Zorami does still run Almanthul. So may, maybe <laughs> this isn't going to be as good as I hope it to be, but we shall see. Okay, coin. Buried dragon. Okay, there's buttons. Then that grabs two removal. Honestly, the thing with the earlier version of the list is buttons actually helped a lot. Just because it adds a little bit of additional removal tools and such, right? And a little bit more draw power. The initial version I was running was like a rainbow hand buff list. But then I realized like we don't really need the hand buffing cards for this list at all. Because we're just trying to get the combo online. It doesn't matter how big our Ankyliax is. As long as we have infinite Ankyliaxes, it usually wins us the game. In theory, at least. Okay, let's slam this down. Let's grab the weapon, get rid of their minion. Just flood the board a little bit. We are kind of like an aggro deck with a bunch of control tools. Like, we don't need any of our minions except for the the Ankyliax like combo to work well. But it is still nice to be able to do it, right? Okay. <laughs> That's... Okay. I get what the argument there could be because we do have a lot of minions. But at the same time, that is a kind of a little bit of a weird play. Ooh. All right, let's see what we can grab. Okay, okay. That's actually not that bad. We do have the yelling YOLO that we can use in combination with the containment unit. As long as we can, they definitely will just flood the board with a bunch of minions. 
All right, let's slam down containment union. I, uh, please, just please, 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 please don't have an uh, almond tool. Anything but that, please. I know it's turn seven, but please just don't have it. I, I almost want to forge or uh, magnetize there. Come on, just don't have it. Please don't have it. Okay. Well, <laughs> well let's go. It is an almond thule. Now, if they had one more mana, it could possibly. Oh, I guess they will have one more mana. Come on. Okay, creation protocol. You know what would be a really funny top deck? The other yelling yodeler. Come on, yodeler. Oh, <laughs> oh that is going to. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh. Now the question is, we we should have actually buffed up that. Uh, that would have been the safer bet, but you know, <laughs> behold, a board full of eight cost minions. Honestly, this is probably one of the best uses of flame behemoth that I have gotten. I actually wanted to use flame behemoth on the thumbnail, uh, but I ended up, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up using Unkiliax because it would be dumb to make a, a infinite Unkiliax deck and not have the card. There's the Almond Thule that you're going to get rid of Flame Behemoth and probably the Inquisitor, right? I, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you get there. Oh, I mean, yeah. Okay, so that's fine. I really should have um, I magnetized the Literal Squirrel. That would have done it. Mm hmm. That's not going to be enough. All right. How how much of a BM do we want to get? Oh, we could. Aw. Ah, uh, we're just going to win. All right. Now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So I play two versions of this list. This version is the one that I ended up settling on just because this felt the most consistent. And it turns out getting infinite on axes in a blood DK is actually pretty strong. There is an argument that you could maybe make instead of using two blood, one unholy rune, triple blood rune, and then just rely on wand maker as a way to get your death growls. But this is probably the more consistent way to get that one condition. And I don't think you're losing on too much by including just one unholy rune overall though if you're looking for a deck to be really funny this is actually probably one of the more competitive infinite loops that you can do with adaptive amalgam in standard hearthstone right now i will also leave down below maybe the previous version of the list even though i think that one is a little bit worse like always if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe until next time bye bye